I didn't know you were here. Uh, well, I almost didn't come. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. What? Sunny? Sunny? Sunny! Sunny! I've been a bit absent-minded in my anticipation. How, 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 how did you end up with the blooms that I requested? My friend Trinity's mom runs the shop. The delivery van broke down and I just happened to be there. Plus, she said it was a rush. It is. Oh, gracious thanks. They are splendid. So, um, what's going on here? She walks in beauty. Like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that's best of dark and bright meets in her aspect. And her eyes. <laughs> that's Byron. Oh, a romantic of the first order. <laughs> Are you getting back together with Maxie? Oh, I think that's just great. You and Maxie belong together. Maxie's test. No longer an option. <laughs> oh. Well, then, what's... What's going on? Uh, well, Stone Cold is winging his way from Italy as we speak with the Divine One by his side, and she will reside here until the threat of danger passes. The Divine One? Yes, Stone Cold's luminous ex-wife, Brenda Barrett. My uncle's supermodel ex-girlfriend? The very same. She will find a safe harbor here with Stone Cold keeping a watchful eye and a jackal attending to her every day. I cannot believe Brenda Barrett will actually be living here. I'll be sharing my home with an angel. A shining light of patience, kindness, and generosity. I hate that you're making me do this. You know, I'd rather go any place in the world than Port Charles and have everyone staring at me like I'm a weirdo. Okay, Hello. No, they're not. Just, it, what's your problem? You fly all the time for ASCC. It's called the ASAC. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's different. Why is it different? I'm not with you. You said that I make you feel safe. Listen, you don't make me feel safe when we are on our way to Can you? Charles. Is there any way that you can go back to sleep? No, I'm awake now and I'd love to turn this plane around. Poor Charles is the safest place for you right now. It's not going to matter after we crash. We're not, we're not going to crash. I what? actually hope that we crash. Why do you hope? This is my hope now, that, that we crash and drown together. But you know what will happen with my luck? We will crash and end up on some island, the two of us, together for the can rest you, of our can lives. Can you stop? No. Do you want a drink? Yes. Great. I hate you forever. It's fine. The plane's fine. We're almost at Port Charles, okay? It's been a smooth flight. Just try to sit back and relax. a few things off the rack, but we have a new line coming in from New York in a couple hours, so you should be able to find something. So what's the deal? Are you working a case that involves haute couture? No. Actually, it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, what is it? Does it involve rich people? That's why you need to look fabulous? Jason's ex is coming back into town. His ex is in Brenda Barrett? Mm -hmm. it's, it's the one. There's some big security risks, so she's got to lay low for a little while. And the only place in the whole entire world she can lay low is with Jason. Yeah, that's what he told me. Anyway, whatever. They're on their way back from Italy right now, and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, really. I'm, I'm not insecure or anything at all. I'm, you know what? They barely even get along, I don't think, so... Well, it doesn't hurt to look extra hot when your guy's ex is going to be around. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's just say I want to look really good when Jason gets home. Well, Robin will be really excited. She and Brenda were really good friends when I was going up. I think Robin's going to be the only one who's excited. You can add Jax to the list and Sunny to the list, too, and I'm sure. Maxie, are you okay? It's Robin. She's missing. 
Where's the key? Just knock on the door. Oh, just give me the key. Where's just the key? Just knock on the door. The key knock knock on the door. Gracious greetings. Um, oh, please enter. Yeah, enter. Go. Go? Yeah, yeah, go. Hi. Hi. Um, welcome to the, the safe harbor of uh, the master and his faithful grasshopper. Bienvenuto a Casa de Stone Cold. Hello, I'm Brenda. Yes, yes, um, I'm the jackal, the assassin of the internet. I, well, I, I rule cyberspace while faithfully serving my master. Um, oh, you're the computer guy. I think we almost spoke on the phone. Yes, that is correct. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's very nice to meet you, Spinelli. Or do you, do you like to be called, um, what's it, what is it? The jackal? No, people call him Spinelli. Oh, well then, nice to meet you, Spinelli. <laughs> so he has your old room, so you take the guest room, okay? Uh, actually, um, oh. I, I, I would gladly vacate my former quarters. I, in fact, I, I resorted to the original configuration in honor of your presence. Oh, you don't have to do that, no, it's, actually, it, I don't. It's my honor. I, I would happily sleep in, in the weight room during the course of your stay, and I will dispatch your baggage forthwith, but first, would you like a refreshment? Oh, seriously? Yes, I'm starving. There's refreshments at Jason's house now? I have prepared strong coffee to oh. ward off the jet lag. Oh, gosh. You are the greatest human being ever created by God. Thank you. Oh, where'd you get this biscotti? Um, from an excellent local Italian bakery. Uh, since the Divine One was residing in Rome, I, I had hoped to make her feel more at home, as it were. I'm the Divine One? Spinelli, why don't you take the bags upstairs? Yes. Oh, uh, gracious, gracious to you as well. No, you don't, you, don't, you don't need to take the bags upstairs. And I could, I'd love for you to have coffee with me, actually. Where'd your pool table go in your ugly leather couch? The Divine One is pleased? Yes, I am. Come, uh, come have coffee with me and biscotti. Here. So where'd you come from? You should call me Brenda. out. He won't tell me anything. He keeps saying that's because he doesn't want to get civilians involved, but I know it's because he doesn't want me to make things worse or get in trouble. Well, Max a cop. He thinks like one. Yeah, well, I promised him I would stay out of trouble, so being here helping you is keeping me out of trouble. Uh, are you sure? Because finding me a dress seems pretty trivial at the moment. Helping me keep my promise to Mac is not trivial. Okay. Well, what do you recommend? Well, you wear a lot of black. There's no reason to shy away from, like, a bold color or a strong print or two. Maybe something that'll catch Jason's eye. This is silly. Jason doesn't even notice clothes. Well, you're kind of doing this for yourself anyway to help you feel pretty and confident. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know, I've been hearing about Brenda for years. I finally get to meet her. out of school my first day. Is it getting any easier? Uh, well, there's no more fights. I think most of the kids there are kind of afraid of me, though. Sometimes I'm afraid of myself. Do you know who understands what it's like, Jason, except for you? Um, I'm sorry, I took off like I did. Oh, you know, don't be. You don't have to stick around in town just to babysit me. It's it's fine. It just I had a lot of people helping me out. Anyways, you know, you know, mom, whether I like it or not, Dante, Sam. Actually, you know, Sam thinks you need to talk about Penn. That, that I need to talk about. She said that. Yeah, well, even though she's uh, she's trying to get me to talk to her, I could see that. I don't know, she thinks that maybe if I talk about what happened, that somehow. It'll be easier. So, I mean, if you want to talk about it. Okay, Jason. Is uh, Spinelli around? Hi. Hi. 
fizesse. Running on about service in Paris, and the new batch of samples is stuck in traffic on the Teppan Z Bridge. Still no word from Mac. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Anything that isn't we found Robin and she's okay is bad news. Sure. Um, I like this one. I think you should fix it up a little. Try Ugh. color. Maxie, why am I even doing this? Jason loves me for me. I'm sure that's true, but there's nothing wrong with trying to look your best. Sam, you don't deserve to go around looking like you're going to get in a shootout every minute. Try some of these on, and if they don't work, we'll find some new ones. Are you Michael? Yeah, yeah, I'm Michael. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You were a baby when I left. You were obsessed with the Yankees. You're huge. Yeah, oh, well, I still like the Yankees. You know, oh, that's Brenda, good. we're kind of in the middle of a conversation. That's okay, oh, that's no. okay, Jason's fine. So are you, um, you in high school? Yeah, yeah, I'm a senior at Madison. Oh, <clears throat> senior year it can be torturous. Or it can be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm, Robin Scorpio. She just vanished after a car accident. Yeah, those should be great things. Okay. Let me know. Oh, good. Hey. I'm so glad you're home. I have a huge favor. Sure, what do you need? Invite me over to Jason's. Come on, you know you're welcome to Jason's anytime. Well, yeah, but I want to come over while Brenda's there. You want to meet Brenda? Yeah, she helps a lot of kids through her charity. And I know this is kind of shallow, but she dated Murphy Sinclair, and she's the face of Cartulo. I think that's really cool. Yeah. So, so do I. It's cool. So, uh, Jocelyn is your baby sister. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's great. Uh, I bet you're great with her. Jocelyn? Yeah, she, uh, she hardly ever cries. She loves to be held. I'm teaching her uh, how to play catch. Well, it's, it's more so me rolling a ball back and forth with her, but she kind of goes crazy for it. Mm, well, she's a lucky girl to have you for a brother. Mm. God, how old is she now? When was she born? Hey, you know what? Brenda and I actually have some things to yeah, talk about. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, it's fine. I, actually, uh, we, we'll talk later, okay. right? I was well, nice to meet you, Brenda. So really nice to meet you. You too. What I do? No, you didn't do anything. Sonny um, was married to a woman named Claudia Zakara. It was a business arrangement, and she was crazy. Michael killed her. What? Claudia kidnapped Carly uh, at gunpoint. Carly was in labor. She had the baby. Claudia tried to steal the baby. Michael came through the door, hit Claudia with an axe handle, and killed her. He went to prison for it. Wow. And he's out. He's out on parole right now. Uh, I'm speechless. You asked why I went to prison. I went with Michael to uh, look out for him. Um, just be careful with him, okay? He's going through hell. Oh, hello. Hi, Brenda? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, who are you? 